On this episode, we'll talk about the major differences between gastric sleeve and gastric bypass. Three, two, one. Here we go! Hello and welcome to another episode of our FAQ section. I'm Dr. Alvarez with endobariatric.com. And today we will talk about a very common uh, question when someone is looking into weight loss surgery. What are the major differences between a gastric sleeve and a gastric bypass? Gastric sleeve and gastric bypass are two types of weight loss surgeries that will help you eat less by reducing the size of your stomach. They have some similarities and some differences in how they work, in their benefits, in their risks, and also in their recovery. The main difference between a gastric sleeve and a gastric bypass surgery is that the gastric sleeve surgery only removes part of your stomach, while the gastric bypass surgery also reroutes your small intestine. This means that the gastric bypass surgery affects both how much you can eat and how many calories and nutrients you absorb from food. That right there is the main difference in both procedures that also have, the, that difference has a lot to do with their pros and their cons. Speaking of which, some of the pros and cons of gastric sleeve and gastric bypass surgery are that gastric sleeve surgery is a much simpler, less invasive uh, surgery, much less than the gastric bypass procedure, but it may result in less weight loss and less improvement, specifically in metabolic conditions like diabetes. Gastric bypass surgery may lead to more weight loss and better blood sugar control than the gastric sleeve surgery. But it also has more potential complications and side effects, such as uh, dumping syndrome, vitamin deficiency, uh, ulcers, all that that the sleeve doesn't have. Both surgeries require pretty much the same recovery time, but the gastric bypass surgery may need more follow-up visits and tests to monitor your health and your nutrition for the rest of your life. And because the gastric bypass has the rerouting of intestines and malabsorption, there are some complications the gastric bypass surgery has that the gastric sleeve doesn't. And here are just a few. Number one, dumping syndrome. Dumping syndrome is when food moves too quickly from your stomach to the intestine, causing nausea, cramps, diarrhea, and other very unpleasant symptoms. Vitamin and mineral deficiencies can also occur because the bypass part of the small intestine normally absorbs some nutrients from food. This can lead to anemia, osteoporosis, specifically or especially on women, and uh, other health problems down the road. Another issue is ulcers. Ulcers are, are sores in the lining of the stomach and the intestine, and they can be caused by many things like stress, smoking, alcohol, certain medications. They can bleed or perforate the stomach wall, and that requires urgent medical attention. This is a latent risk in gastric bypass patients. Internal hernias. An internal hernia is a condition where the intestine protrudes through an opening in the abdominal cavity, but stays inside the abdomen. That is why it's called internal hernia. It can cause pain, nausea, vomiting, uh, very commonly bowel obstruction, and it is a different form from an external hernia where you can see or it can be felt as a lump underneath the skin. 
Internal hernias are related to a bypass and not a sleeve and often require surgery to fix them. This is also a latent risk in gastric bypass patients. Anastomotic stricture is a narrowing between the connection of your stomach and your intestine and can cause vomiting or difficulty swallowing. This is only a gastric bypass situation since a connection between your stomach and your intestine exists and it is not part of gastric sleeve surgery. The anastomotic leak, which can lead to infection and peritonitis, this is caused by the union as well between your stomach and your intestine or your intestine intestine. That's where the intestine uh, meets the other part of the intestine where they connect, which is also only part of the gastric bypass procedure. Now, what is the best surgery for you? Well, that will depend on your weight, on your medical history, on your goals, and your preferences as well. You should consult with your doctor or a bariatric surgeon to discuss the benefits and risks of each procedure and make an informed decision. If you would like an online, a free online consultation, please visit my website and I'll be personally touching base with you. So there you have it. These are just a few differences between both procedures and I hope you found this helpful. And if you did, if you can leave me one of these, it will be very beneficial to the channel. And hey, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. That way we can hang out again. I'm Dr. Alvarez with endobariatric.com where we are changing lives one sleeve at a time. Take care and God bless.